guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would sit down and do like a little trying to conceive update because I feel like I haven't spoken about this with you guys for so long. And I feel as though probably a few of you are thinking like, is she pregnant? Is that why she's not talking about it? But no, it's just literally because last month we like didn't track anything and we just kind of like went with the wait and see approach. Nothing happened, I'm still not pregnant. But hopefully soon. Um, this month we are trying things a little bit differently. Once again, I feel like every month we're just like, I guess it depends on your headspace and your mood and how you're feeling, depending on what you kind of feel like is okay to do. I definitely didn't have high hopes to fall pregnant last month because last month I should have been, def I might not have been, but I should have been ovulating from the side without the tube. And I kind of had my ovulation pains on that side, um, so I just kind of didn't really have high hopes last month and we didn't try that hard last month. We definitely kept trying like throughout my fertile window and things like that, but we didn't like put pressure on ourselves. I didn't test with ovulation sticks or anything like that. But this month I feel like we're both just like so ready and we're just kind of wanting to try a little bit harder to see if we can make it happen. So we are changing things up quite a bit this month once again. We're taking a stack of different like vitamins and stuff like that. So I thought that I'd maybe just show you guys what we're taking, why we're taking it, how many we're taking and stuff like that. So I might start off by showing you guys that and then I'll go into like um, testing for ovulation. But I am still taking Elevit. I actually started taking this in May as soon as we started trying for baby number two. Um, I stopped taking it once I had my topic, but as soon as my hormone levels went back down to zero, I started taking it again. So I've been taking this for months. Um, so I'm still taking Elevit and it's just the pregnancy one. Kurt takes these men's multivitamins. Uh, he's just, he's literally taking them forever. So that's not really anything out of the ordinary as well. He always takes these. Then Kurt is taking zinc. He's taking, I think it's two tablets twice a day. No, one tablet twice a day. So Kurt's taking two of these tablets a day, one in the morning, one at night. So apparently this is really good for men and like their sperm count and sperm quality. Interesting. And it's supposed to be quite good for women as well, I've read. So I'm just taking one a day. I'm not taking the dosage they say, I'm just taking one at the moment. I'm also back on my iron tablet. So I used to take these like religiously. It was a different brand. This was These were literally all just at Woolies. So that's why we grabbed them. So yeah, I'm just taking one iron tablet a day and doing that alone has made such a difference for me. I've always been deficient in iron um, and I just kind of stopped when I fell pregnant with Miller because I was taking Elevit and then after having her I just never went back on them again which I should have. And then Maca. So apparently Maca is really good for libido. I hope I said that right. Libido. Libido. Um, and it's supposed to make men a bit more fertile as well I've heard. Um, I don't know if there's like any scientific evidence to like back it up but I've heard of heaps of people taking these tablets and then like falling pregnant a few months later. So Anything is worth a go. So we're both taking two of these in the morning and then two of these at night. And that's pretty much it for all the vitamins. I know that there's so many other things that you can take and do, but Kurt and I were just at the shops and we we don't want to overthink anything, but we also want to give ourselves like the best chance. I had just heard from people that the MAC was really good and zinc is really good. And then I just sort of know that I'm lacking in iron, so that's why I started taking it. I have like read about things like pre-seed and things like that, and maybe eventually we'll go down that route, like maybe in a couple of months if we haven't um, conceived yet. But for now, we just thought we'd give this a go. And it can't hurt either of us by doing this. It's just going to make us feel better and have more energy and things. So it's not like there's really anything to lose with doing this. And I honestly do feel better, especially I think it's my iron tablets make a huge difference. And apparently the MACA gives you heaps more energy. Maybe those two combined is what's making me feel a bit better. I have been told that once you ovulate each month, just stop taking MACA. I don't know um, why or anything like that, but I probably, once I ovulate, will just stop taking it. But that's kind of it vitamin-wise. I just thought some of you guys might be interested because if I do, I guess, conceive this month, then at least you guys have been updated with all the things that I've changed. This month we've started tracking ovulation again. We just used the eBay cheapies. I'll grab my little book and I'll show you guys my little ovulation thing so far. So this is kind of what we're doing. We're actually like tracking it every day and just watching the line get darker. And then when it gets nice and dark, we're gonna make sure that we take full advantage. So we are tracking it this month. This is the first month that I've actually um, kept the test to compare though. So I actually really like it this way. It's really good to like look at it and go, oh, it looks like it's building up, like maybe a few more days away. And I don't know, it's just kind of makes it kind of exciting. During the fertile window as well this month, we're trying a lot more frequently. Um, we we usually, with which is what we did the other two times, just kind of did every second day. 
Whereas this time we're just going to try it. We're just going to try doing like every day and see if it makes a difference or not. I've heard really, really mixed reviews about this. I know some people say like the quality of the sperm isn't as good if you do it every day. And then I've heard other people saying they did it every day and they felt pregnant. So we haven't tried this attempt before and we thought, why not? Just give it a go. Kurt's only young and he doesn't have like low sperm count or anything like that that we know of. So we just thought may as well give it a crack, see what happens. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I haven't spoke to you guys about all of this for such a long time. Um, and I know that once I do fall pregnant, you guys probably won't hear from me for a little while about it because Kurt wants to keep it a secret for a few months, which is fair enough, especially after everything we've been through. It just kind of gives us time um, if we do miscarry to get over it before letting you guys know or if we don't then when we share the news, it'll be really happy news and we can all be so happy and excited together. And I've just got to respect that that's the way that Kurt wants to do things. And I also think it's not a bad way to do it um, because with the miscarriage, yes, we shared it with you guys, but you guys didn't find out until I was about nine weeks along, 10 weeks along with what happened. So it gave us a lot of time to get over it first. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys liked this little update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.